When it comes to general safety, we use the acronym SAFE to stand for safety and you, alcohol and drugs, firearm storage, and educate your family. The F stands for firearm storage. When we talk about firearm storage, we have to be aware of what we're trying to accomplish with firearm storage because what may work good for one person may not always work for the next person. So when we talk about firearm storage, what are the goals that we're trying to accomplish? Well, the first thing is that we wanna make sure that we keep firearms out of the hands of children because obviously this is dangerous. So whatever firearm storage method we choose should be sure that it keeps the firearm out of the hands of children. Next, we want to keep that firearm out of the hands of untrained adults. We all know that person that we wouldn't trust alone in our house because they'd run around and play with every light switch and open every drawer just because that's their personality. That's not the kind of person you want around your firearm unattended. So good firearm storage means keeping it out of the hands of untrained adults. Next, we wanna make theft as difficult as possible. Why don't we say impossible? Because, hey, nothing's impossible, right? I mean, people have hacked into the Pentagon's computer system. So if you have a determined criminal, they will find a way to defeat your firearm storage if they've got enough time and enough initiative but we wanna make theft of your firearm as difficult as we possibly can. And the final goal of our firearm storage is to keep the firearm ready for our needs. Now, the reason why it's different for every person is because you might have a different set of circumstances than somebody else. For instance, a student one may be somebody that likes to just go to the range and shoot for fun, but they know, they've already determined in their head, they could never possibly use their firearm in self-defense. They just don't have what it takes. So they're gonna have a different need for their firearm storage than the person that is looking to store their firearm for home defense. So there are different needs that you have to account for. The bottom line is, you need the firearm accessible for your needs. Another example of this might be a gun collector somebody that has all kinds of guns that they want to display, maybe in a locked case or cabinet, but it's not secure because maybe it's got glass on the front and that could be broken. So again, for their needs, they need to display it. So displaying it in a locked glass case may work for them, but that's not where you would want to keep your personal firearm that you're going to use for defending your home. So again, you have to evaluate the four goals of firearm storage. How are you gonna keep it out of the hands of children? How are you gonna keep it out of the hands of untrained adults? How are you gonna make theft difficult? And how are you gonna keep it accessible for your needs?